everyone, this is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. Today I'd like to discuss with you how to get below wholesale prices at sample sales. So let's say you come to New York and you walk around the fashion district or you walk around you know, different areas of New York City, you're going to come across what are called sample sales. Now a sample sale originally was a sale where a designer or a manufacturer or a brand was selling their, you know, their samples that they would show to buyers in order to motivate them to buy their line. Now, sample sales have actually become a source of sales, meaning there are brands or manufacturers or designers, there are entrepreneurs who run these sales specifically to sell merchandise. So it's not that they're just selling you know, samples, but they're actually buying merchandise or they're taking a lot of their merchandise and they're selling it and they're calling a sample sale since they know people are familiar with that term and that's going to attract people to come to their store, to their warehouse, and buy from them. Now, when you know that information, it enables you to get better deals and to buy or to have the opportunity to buy at below wholesale prices. Now, why is that? Because whoever set up that sale is highly motivated to sell their merchandise. It's not simply that they're just going to try to see if they can sell both their samples, and if they don't, that's okay because, you know, tomorrow they're continuing the regular business. No, these sales are being set up specifically to sell merchandise which has either been bought or merchandise which has accumulated. When you know that information, now you know that the seller needs to move that merchandise out because they might have actually paid to rent out a store. They might have actually paid to buy merchandise. Or, let's say it's a designer or a manufacturer, they might have accumulated a lot of merchandise which they're hoping to be able to sell through that sale because they don't have another way to easily sell that merchandise outside of that sample sale. So when you go in there as a buyer, you can negotiate knowing that they need to sell that merchandise. Now, you can get there really early when the sale just starts out, see you know the best of the merchandise that's available. In this way, you're going to get the best selection possible. But the challenge is that the seller is not going to be that motivated to give you the best below wholesale prices because the seller knows that there's still a lot of time for that sample sale to take place. But if you wait until the sample sale is almost finished, whatever merchandise is still there, the seller is going to be that much more eager to sell and the seller is going to have to sell it at a very low price in order to move out that merchandise. So as a buyer, I would recommend that you go at the beginning of the sale. This we can see what's available because look, the seller might not be as motivated to sell as he or she will be by the end of the sale, but they still need to make those sales, right? They still want to move that merchandise out. And let's say they have beautiful Tahari dresses that are retail for $200, and at the sample sale, they're selling them for $80. Even though the sales just started out, if you can buy that Tahari dress for $80, and you can resell it for $100 or $150, then it's a good deal for you. So you don't want to miss out on that dress. On the other hand, when you come at the end of the sale, if they still have a Tahari dress, then you're going to be able to negotiate and get it at a much lower price. You might even be able to get it for $50 or $40. On the other hand, even if you get to the sample sale at the end of the sale and they don't have the Tahari dress, and they have a dress by a brand that you're not that familiar with, but it's a beautiful dress and you're confident you could sell it, well, if you could buy that dress for $20, then it's a very good opportunity for you. All right, the next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. My website is closeoutexplosion.com. If you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe. This way you can see the other videos that I have available. If you have any questions or comments or you want me to, see, you want me to make a video for you, please let me know. And I'd be happy to do it. Thank you and have a great day.